Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. whole bunch of people sent me the story, so I can't thank all of you. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, it was written up everywhere. So I'm going to go to the version of the New York Post, nypost.com. George Fitzgibbon wrote it. One California city thinks Chick-fil-A is a public nuisance. <laughs> Traffic outside of California Chick-fil-A has gotten so crazy that local officials are considering declaring the insanely popular fast food eatery a public nuisance. Not all of them, just the one that has the traffic issues. Officials in Santa Barbara said some motorists can't even cross the road due to the massive lines at the restaurant's drive-thru because they choke traffic for hours on end. So as you know, a restaurant might have a drive-thru. And you pull into the parking lot, you wind around, you go to the drive-thru, and then you go through, you get, you know, order, pay, get your food and leave. But of course, if things get busy and that line starts backing up around the parking lot, it'll often back up out into the road. Now, most restaurants, if they've got that problem, only have it for a short period of time or unusual circumstances. But apparently, it is a thing at this place on a daily basis for hours. And that's the problem. The city's traffic engineer, police chief, and community development director have evaluated the situation and believe that the persistent traffic backup onto State Street is a public nuisance and that the nuisance is caused by the operation of the drive through at the Chick-fil-A restaurant. That's a traffic study and its conclusions conducted by the city, according to a report from CBS News. The study determined that the line of cars at the drive through window blocks one lane on the public roadway for up to 90 minutes at a time on weekdays. 90 minutes on weekdays and 155 minutes on weekends. And if my math is done correctly, that's a little over two and a half hours. A little over two and a half hours on weekends. Chick-fil-A has a good problem here. Santa Barbara City Council member Kristen Snedden told the station. They're so successful, they've outgrown their side. It's possible they were oversized for that site to begin with. Council voted unanimously to move forward on the public nuisance designation, but agreed to keep a public hearing on the move open until June 7th. Chick-fil-A is best known for its delectable chicken sandwiches, requested the delay to chime in before a final vote. So they want to get in there and, and explain their side of it, and possibly if they have any solutions for this. The Santa Barbara location opened back in 2013 and is the chain's only outlet in Santa Barbara. Travis Collins, who runs the restaurant, told CBS it wants to be a good neighbor and was eyeing beefing up staff and considering traffic control agents to ease the problem. Interestingly, the last time I saw traffic backed up like this was in California at an In-N-Out Burger. And I've always got the In-N-Out Burger signs on the set because I like In-N-Out Burger and they're not yet here in Michigan. And I might not live to see that day, but they're slowly working their way across the country. In and out is, and In and Out, of course, started as drive-through only. But they do have some restaurants where you can go in and sit down. But the bulk of their business, I guess, is still from people who drive through. And so I went to a uh, In and Out Burger not far from LAX, and it was a very, very busy day, and the restaurant was rocking. And I saw that the line wrapped around like (laughs) it was like a mobius strip look it up and so i'm thinking to myself i really want in an out burger i'm 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 only in california so often i've got to get in an out burger and then i thought wait a second as i was watching as I, i i drove slowly by the line appeared to be moving pretty briskly i thought to myself huh maybe maybe they've actually got it down to where even though the line is crazy they've got it moving pretty well so the way that In-N-Out Burger is, and this is based on my memory now from a few years ago, is that the road that they backed up onto, where the traffic was backed up onto the road, was not a main road. In fact, I don't think there's anything on that road. I think it was like an access road or something. And, and so the line that went around the building went around like this, went like this, and then went out onto this street. And so I thought, I'm going to try it. I'm just going to try it and see how fast the line moves. If the line's not moving fast enough, I can bail out, but at least I can say I tried. Sometimes it's enough to just try. (laughs) I got in line, and as the line was moving, I realized something, is that people were not placing their orders at the window. There was a person walking down the line of cars, and they were wearing some kind of identification vest, 
and they had in their hands a menu that they could show you if you wanted to see a menu, and they had in their hand a device with which they could place your order for you. So you didn't need to pull to the window. And so by doing it that way, they actually got the line moving faster. So it's possible that Chick-fil-A in Santa Barbara might be able to implement things like that to, to make that line move faster. And they may already be doing that. I saw some photographs and some of the stories that showed people doing that. And so that might help solve some of the problem. Whether it fixes it entirely, we don't know. Now, some people are going to say, Steve, let me get this straight. To open the business, they probably had to do all kinds of stuff for the city, jumping through hoops and getting all kinds of permits and licenses and approvals. And uh, they probably had to show them site plans and probably to show them like, like mock ups of what the building's going to look like, make sure it looked good and fit in with the neighborhood. And they go through all of that, and now the city might declare them a nuisance. And here's the thing yes. <laughs> All the site planning in the world can't make up for the fact that somewhere down the road, your site's going to be so busy that people are going to get in line and the line's going to back up out on the road. And so what's going to happen here is Chick-fil-A is going to have to figure out a way to get people to line up somewhere else if that's possible or to not line up at all if they can't do it in the parking lot. So there might be some way, I don't know, I don't know what the property looks like. There might be some way they can have the line, you know, do this or something on the parking lot. Very difficult, but there might be something they can do to extend that line. Um, but the other thing is that, that if you look at it from the viewpoint of just, say, who's in charge of traffic, traffic, okay? So someone is in charge of traffic, and they look at traffic flow in the city. How are the lights timed? Uh, does it take too long to go across the city this way versus getting through the city this way? Are people taking shortcuts they shouldn't be taking? Are, 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 are people blocking traffic where they shouldn't be blocking traffic? And some of them say, yeah, there's this Chick-fil-A where every single day they're open. I understand that Sunday might be an issue with Chick-fil-A. But on every day they're open, there's a backup of cars onto the roadway. So in theory, for instance, the police could come down there and start ticketing people for blocking the roadway. And say you're blocking the roadway. And now you could say, well, I'm in line for Chick-fil-A. Well, you shouldn't be in line out here. You should be in line in there. Well, I can't get online in there. Well, whose fault is that? Is that the police officer's fault? Or is that Chick-fil-A's fault? Or is that your fault? Maybe you should go to McDonald's. <laughs> so it's a weird situation. But they're going to have to do something about this. Because I highly doubt that the city's going to say, you know something, you're so busy, you need to block traffic for a couple hours on this particular day, every single week, and, and, and you know every single day they're going to have these blocks. No, they're not going to allow that. They're not going to allow that. So we'll wait and see what happens. But they're going to have to figure out something. But simply having a traffic control person standing out there and saying, okay, you're not, you're not buying Chick-fil-A today? Well, here's the one lane you can drive in. Okay? And I'll be honest, I've never eaten a Chick-fil-A. Never eaten there. I was unaware they existed until fairly recently. Uh, they, they, they didn't come to Michigan uh, until fairly recently. At least, I, 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 if you said, Steve, right now, name one. Where's the location in Michigan? I couldn't tell you. I'm not even sure. I know, I know they're here. I know they're here. But I'm, I'm, they're not on my radar. So the idea that, well, if we put someone out in the road with a vest and they say, hey, if you want to buy Chick-fil-A in this lane, don't want to buy Chick-fil-A, get in this lane. That, that's not how roads work. That's not how traffic works. So we'll have to wait and see. But first, you know, good news for Chick-fil-A is that the city council has put the ruling off until they have an opportunity to present their case. And I'm assuming their case is not simply we want to block traffic. It's going to be we have a solution as to how we can get around this and we'll try to do this. How's that? But as of right now, public nuisance might be a label to get hung on them. And uh, if that happens permanently, it might not be good. So from nypost.com or the New York Post, George Fitzgibbon wrote it, and a lot of people sent it to me. One California city thinks Chick-fil-A is a public nuisance. We'll see what happens. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. When using a campground, a tuba placed on your picnic table might keep the campsites on either side vacant.